What's up everybody, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I have the Realme GT here. This is a high spec device for a relatively cheap price. This device is more catered to gamers, believe it or not. With the high end specs, it has the stainless steel cooling system on this device to keep it cool when you're playing games for a long period of time. Let's go ahead and put it to the test to see what it's all about. Now, again, this device is stacked to the max with the 80 day processor, plenty of RAM, all the bells and whistles that you know and love, and it comes in at, at a very, very cheap price. Uh, I will leave that link down in the description below if you want to check pricing and variability for this device. But let's play some games and look at the temperature uh, on this device as we go along in this video. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I have the Realme GT here. Let's check the temperature. Right now we at uh, 84 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and uh, we gonna play some games. Now, I've been playing games on this device and one of the things that I criticize on my Galaxy device is when I do play games on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it gets extremely hot. I mean, extremely hot. But as I've been playing games before I started this video, uh, on this device, it stayed relatively cool. So the cooling system on here is pretty much state of the art. So let's go on and play some games on this device. First game I'm gonna play is my lovely Day Trigger 2. And I got a controller connected. So let's have some fun. Again, when it comes down to gaming, this device right here is catered to gamers. So if you like gaming and you want an 88 processor with eight or 12 gigs of RAM, uh, Take a look at the Realme GT. So here it is, right? And uh, as y'all guys can see, I'm playing with a controller. And look, the controller is really nice, right? I got the Xbox controller connected. And one of the reasons why is because I'm gonna play some Xbox Game Pass uh, with the controller uh, and uh, let y'all guys see some of the, the, the good quality as far as the display quality of when playing really good detailed games here. And look, I'm gonna tell you right now, with the 88 processor and all the RAM you ever know and love and ever need in the device, uh, I haven't had any slowdown, any hiccups with this at all. So you're not gonna get any slowdown, any hiccups with the with this device. Uh, now, one of the biggest issues uh, with the 88 processor going into a lot of devices is the thermals. Uh, and I think a lot of companies like Realme have acknowledged that uh, instead of putting, uh, you know, 888 processor without a cooling system in is the wrong thing to do. So, uh, Realme, they got an 888 processor with all this RAM in here and all this power. Uh, they put that stainless steel cooling system in this device to keep it cool, especially with playing game for a long period of time. Uh, go to a game pass game, right? We'll play Battlefield 5, man. Let's play some Battlefield. Now, Game Pass, uh, you can play all your favorite Xbox games um, what, if you have an Xbox controller like this. I've made a video about the controller. But as long as you can have a controller paired to your device and you got the Xbox uh, Game Pass downloaded, it's a really good treat to play games, definitely. So I'm playing Xbox Game Pass and uh, the details of the quality here is absolutely amazing. Uh, so you really get really good details here uh, when playing Xbox Game Pass. Now again, it all depends on your internet uh, for you to get that good uh, gameplay. I don't have any issues with my internet, so uh, you're definitely going to get some really good gameplay. But look at the detail and the quality, and I got all the settings as high as it can go uh, on my Xbox Game Pass. So there, here it is, right? So if you want to play some good gaming, mm, here it is. This is this is what I'm talking about right here. Mm. Ah, so I died. Uh, <laughs> but you know, this is Battlefield, right? And I'm a Battlefield fan. I actually love uh, Battlefield and, and the detail and the quality that you get in here is just off the chain. I really do like uh, that on a smartphone here. This is a smartphone, and we playing these type of games on a smartphone. All right, I gotta get out the way. I gotta get out the way. I don't wanna get killed here. Uh, so 
Uh, we talked about a smartphone uh, that has all these detailing and quality here of almost a console type of situation here. And uh, man, this is this, this absolutely wonderful. One of the things that I like about this device is the battery life has been really good on it. I haven't had any issues with battery life with this device. So uh, if you're gonna use the device to play games, I mean, obviously you go, you know, play really good games uh, at no problems with this device. All right, all right, so I'm a sniper. Uh, and again, look at the details there. Um, oh, did I get him? Let me go and reload. All right, and uh, look at that, it got men over there. Boom, headshot, okay, uh, there we go. Uh, so I'm a sniper, as y'all guys can see, this part of the, the game that I'm playing here. And the gameplay is absolutely amazing. Look at that, got one right there, look at that. Mm. Oh, missed him. All right, look at that. Ooh, they got three of them over there. Let's see, we stop right there. Missed him. Yeah, see when he moving with your sniper, See right there, I'm gonna get him, boom. See when you're a sniper, you have to wait till they stop. All right, so I think they did, I think my guys got him. Mm, oh, oh. All right, so they have a plane that's flying above me that's shooting down at me. Uh, I really can't see anything. All right, so yeah, uh, the plane blew me up. So um, overall, I think if you wanna have a really good gaming experience, uh, with a high-end processor, the latest and greatest, the 888 processor, 812 gigs of RAM, uh, and you can find the Realme GT at a relatively good price. This is what this device is for. And so I want y'all guys to see this, and let's get out of here, as I've been playing this for a while now, uh, and just look at the tip. Look at it, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, the cooling system that's in this device is definitely keeping it below the 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, a lot of y'all guys asked me the question to change the setting sometime to go to Celsius. So let's look at Celsius uh, as it being relatively warm. All right, so 35 degrees Celsius, um, and that was really, really low. Now, if I would have done the same thing on the Galaxy S21 Ultra playing games, uh, I would be probably 45 to even 50 degrees Celsius and over 120 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the thermals are really good on this phone. I really do like it. So overall, if you want to connect a joystick uh, to your device and have some fun playing games on your Realme uh, GT, I think you'll be fine. And I found that, you know, it don't matter what type of game I play on this device, it stayed relatively cool. Uh, and I didn't get any stuttering, any hiccups. Uh, and the gameplay has been great. Uh, the details of the display has been really good. And every game that I play on this device at maximum settings, uh, it plays it very well with no issues. Battery life has been extremely good on the Realme GT, uh, so I don't have any issues with battery life. So right now, anything that I throw at this device, it will play with no problem. Now I wish that it had some other features like uh, if I connect it to a, a monitor or something like that, and I could get kind of full monitor support so I don't have to use the device, but uh, I'm not getting any monitor support, so I don't have any external support uh, with the device. Like if I plug up my, my, my Z Fold 2 or something like that to a monitor, I mean, I usually get decks, but you don't have to use decks. You can mirror it and you have, uh, it works very well. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Rumi GT Gaming in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.